Hey guys, it's been a while since we've done a video. We're back on the road. Yep. Um, do we look older? Yes. Fatter? Yes. Don't answer that. We do. <laughs> um, it's nice to get out here. We're in Death Valley. Most things are pretty much the same. We fall back into the same groove. But one thing is very different about traveling in this way that wasn't the same when we were on the road in South America. Mm -hmm. And one major improvement. One improvement, I guess, yeah. Yeah. Taco! Come on. Oh, oh good, I boy. good boy. What's that? What's that? <laughs> Taco! Taco! He's a year old golden doodle. And he's objectively perfect. Let's give him more tech specs than that. I'd say he's like 45 pounds, <laughs> you know, three feet long, too much hair. So this is Taco's space, and that used to be space that we put things like propane tanks in the ARB uh, awning room, and now Taco's there, so we've had to leave a lot of our normal stuff at home, which is okay because we like our dog better than we like our things. Um, but we had to do this instead of putting him in a crate, which we had done on our first road trip with him when he was a baby. But now that he's a grown up, he knows that it's super fun to do things like stick his face out of the window and like schnoofle the air and bite the wind and do all of his favorite dog things. And we don't want to get in the way of any of that. So we've cleared out this space from here so you can have max schnoofling time. Um, and we also have to do things like air down the tires now and again because he gets uh, pretty rattled when the car is bumping around too much and because he's a prince and we coddle him in every possible way. We also try to make sure that Shadow is a hospitable place for him in that way. Taco, come! And when it's time for him to go in, hey Taco, go in! Oh, what a good boy! It's not always that fast. <laughs> he just goes right in. And that's his little home on the road. Maggie mentioned that Taco is a prince and can't stand bumpy roads. To get out to where we are, which I think is Cottonwood Valley in Death Valley, um, it's a bumpy road. It's a lot of washboard. A lot of rattling to get here. We figured out that airing down the tires really, really helps. So you can actually see it's a little bit bulging down here. This is 20 PSI. These are very large tires. Every tire is going to be different, but airing down on these long roads makes it so that it's so much more comfortable, so much safer for the vehicle and just a much, much easier ride for everyone involved. So airing down, I have loved this tool. I got it when I was well before the trip. It's the ARB uh, tire deflator. It's a specific tool just for deflating tires. The way it works, it's really simple actually. Once you get used to it, you just um, tighten it like that first. I'm not gonna let too much air out. Then once it's on, all you're doing is using this inner tool to remove the center plug of the tube. And once it comes loose like that, you can just let out air. And it takes about a minute, 35 seconds to a minute, uh, but, you know, and per tire. But once you do all this, the ride is much, much easier and it's a lot more pleasant to be in the car. It's probably safer to make sure things don't break and rattle loose also. What do you think, Taco? He likes it. <laughs> we're back, we're on the road, time to air up the tires. One of the things we're always carrying in the kind of the equipment drawer right here. There's the way we air it down. Is a Via Air air compressor. I don't actually keep it in the bag because it doesn't fit. But this guy can air up our tires. Kind of begs the question why we keep the bag, doesn't it, sweetie? Next scene. So the way that this thing works is hose I've already connected, pretty straightforward. And then you hook this up to your car battery. You do it while the car's running because you really need enough power to power this thing. You don't want it to drain your battery. Um, plugging this in is pretty straightforward. Red is always positive, black's always negative. Don't get them switched because you'll probably just fry the electronics in the peripheral that you're hooking up. Doesn't really matter. I always just do plus and then minus. I think we actually technically just plus to put it on ground first, but who cares? And you get the hose. 
turn it on. Then you're up in cars. We're so glad that we can take taco camping because now it's the best part. Yeah, and I think Taco really loves camping also, so it works out for everyone. Mm -hmm. Here's some footage of Taco living his absolute best life. Let's go, bud. <laughs> What's over there? Go over there! the best place to chew that taco? Is this where that has to happen? Hey taco, what's this? <laughs> he threw it in his face? Yeah. Taco, where did he go? Hey taco, taco, what's this? Hey. Oh, what a wackadoo. He's got a rock. What's that? He has a rock in his mouth. Pretty hard to be a taco. Oh boy, taco. <laughs> you hate it, taco? Tell you what, we're done. <laughs> See you guys.